Right. So I'm in the midst of being incredibly pissed off with the community who, for one, aren't really seeing the actual problem at hand. And two, are completely shitting on this game when this game is easily a game of the year contender regardless of what you think and there'll be plenty of other games like final fantasy or whatever the fuck you think is your game of the year now i'm on about actual game of the year contender but i do think it's going to fail reason being is because of these microtransactions here now i'm not going to tell you what every other sheep cocksucker has been telling you the past god knows how long because i'm going to go ahead and show you something if you type in resident evil 4 and go on to resident evil 4 you'll notice something pretty interesting right you'll go down and you'll see oh content for this game i wonder what's in it um yeah a bunch of upgrade tickets green herbs special things that can potentially give you boosters there's a bunch of things treasure maps whatever there's fucking loads of stuff in resident evil might i remind you this isn't the only game that's done it and look at the look at the overwhelmingly positive reviews on this right devil may cry 5 is quite old now a fantastic game mind you overwhelmingly positive what do they give you fast tracks unlocks loads of shit that you can gain in game right now i'm not saying it's okay i'm not saying it's okay right i'm not saying it's okay but look at that word the store page oh it's mixed why would that be i wonder now mind you before you guys start chatting shit i have a bunch of mods working on this game whatever the fuck you want to think of i've got some great stuff and i can show you how easy it is if you really want me to now fuck all that for a minute right they're worrying about save games the first game didn't have multiple saves it had a new game plus and that didn't come as far as i'm aware until the dlc came out now if i'm wrong go ahead and correct me hey capcom let's purchase a good review okay so we're talking about that now this guy's talking about terrible performance now okay you want to talk about terrible performance i wonder like what the hell happened we went from 32 fps did we on serious issues stuttering yeah, see that there? The game ran like shit on hardware. Now, let's go and have a look at Elden Ring, shall we? Oh, right. It's very positive. Weird that, isn't it? Now, let's go back to the first game. Very positive. L like, <laughs> make it make fucking sense, people. And before you go on and say, I'm just trying to defend them, let's look at Yakuza. Oh, like a dragon. I wonder what they're selling in here. Oh, right, yeah. Fucking sets of things that you can get in-game. I'm absolutely sure of that. This, is, this isn't even the latest one that has all the DLC in it. So here's the latest game. And look at this. Oh, of course, there's a bunch of DLC for a single player game but nobody said anything and let's check the reviews mind you let's go and have a look at yakuza's reviews despite all this dlc oh it's very positive now you see why i'm pissed off because there's double standards in virtually every single fucking way towards dragon's dogma 2 and this game despite the microtransactions and despite the performance issues is fucking amazing it really is good so explain to me why is this a problem when every other game gets a pass for it why is the performance issue such a big deal when no one gave a fuck with elden ring please make it make sense